Saint Abigail, more commonly known as Saint Gobne or Deborah, was a medieval Irish saint. Much of what we know about Abigail comes from folklore. Unlike many other Irish saints, Abigail's life story was not written down during the medieval period. Traditional and links with St. Abigail suggests she lived during the 6th century. A version of the saint's life tells us that Abigail was born in Eau Claire. She was a young woman who always liked praying to God. Her family was always fighting among themselves, and this caused the saint a great distress. She couldn't find any peace at home, so she decided to flee from there. It is believed that she reached the Aran Islands and found refuge there. She lived there for many days in prayers and meditation. One day, an angel appeared to her there and told her that her place was not on Innes Or. The angel instructed her to go on a journey to seek her true place of resurrection. Go until you find nine white deer grazing, the angel told her. It is there that you will find your place of resurrection. So she left the island to journey through the southern coastal counties in search of the deer. She stopped at churches to pray and wells for waters like in Waterford, Cor, Kerry, etc. These places are now major centers of devotion. At various stages of her journey, Abigail met the white deer of varying numbers. But not exactly nine. She continued her search and eventually reached Ballyvernay. It was here that she found exactly nine deer grazing on a rise overlooking the River Salane and looking towards the Dairy Nasagart Hills. Abigail would spend the rest of her earthly life dedicated to pastoral service and Christian charitable work. This is where she founded a monastery with the help of Saint Abon and dedicated her days to helping the sick. Her connection to honeybees is complex, beginning with the angel telling her to find her resurrection place where the soul leaves the body. In Celtic mythology, the soul was thought to depart the body as a bee or a butterfly. Bees have long held an important place in Irish culture, and ancient laws were called the Beck Bretha, which means bee judgments. Honey is well known for its curative properties, and Abigail was renowned for her care of the sick. She is said to have had a strong relationship with bees and used honey in the treatment of illnesses and healing of wounds. So it is not surprising that Abigail added beekeeping to her life's work, developing a lifelong affinity with them. Typical of the records from this era, stories of miracles where Abigail and her superhero bees save the day were passed down through generations. One of the stories was about a devastating plague that killed many during this time. The terrible plague was killing children and the old alike. The villagers of Ballyvernay were worried that it would soon reach their village as well. They met the saint and sought her to help keep the plague away. The saint prayed through the night and walked to the village border the next day. Once she reached the village border, she started drawing a line in the earth using her walking stick. The villagers were confused and didn't understand what she was doing. She soon finished drawing the line circling the village. The saint told the villagers that they would be safe and they don't have to worry about the plague anymore. And it was a miracle. The plague did halt before reaching Ballyvernay. In another incident there, a group of robbers were stealing the villagers' cattle. 
This had been going on for many nights, and the villagers asked the saint for help. The saint agreed and told them not to worry about their cattle anymore. That night, as usual, the robbers came to steal the cattle. The saint, watching all this from a distance, let loose a swarm of bees. The bees attacked the thieves, and they ran away in terror. The thieves never showed up again, and the villagers thanked the saint for her help. She remained settled in Ballyvernay until her death, where she was then buried to await her resurrection. Abigail is remembered for her care of the sick. In the churchyard at Ballyvernay, many discarded crutches show that people believed they were cured by Abigail answering their prayers. O oh, heavenly patron, in whose name I glory, pray ever to God for me. Strengthen me in my faith, establish me in virtue, guard me in the conflict, that I may vanquish any foe malign and attain to glory everlasting. Amen. Saint Abigail, pray for us. Hello, viewers. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to take a moment to request you to pray for us and donate if you can. If you can donate just $5, Christian Kids TV can keep making more videos like this. If you are not in a position to donate, then do pray for us. In fact, prayer support is very important to our mission. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoy the video.